Well, before Trey Lomax and Micah Holder became the starting safety and wide receiver for the San Diego State Aztecs, they were prep stars. Brandon Stone sitting down with both to talk about their memories of the world they left behind. How involved do you stay in the current prep football world around here? Uh, I, I watch um, highlights every now and then. You know, I still check out uh, KUSI's PPR. Yeah. Um, I talk to Coach Carroll a lot, so I'll talk to him about that sometimes, <laughs> too. When he was my coach, I'd never expect him to do that just because, like, I always said, <laughs> really? that's Coach Carroll. And then when he had the Carroll's corner thing, it's just it's pretty fun. Do you think if the transfer rule existed back when you played, the way it exists now, <laughs> Do you think you would have finished your school time where you ended it? No, I mean, after, after eighth grade, you know, I was considering going to Cathedral or, or Saints, um, you know, for, for athletic purposes. But I ultimately stayed home just because, you know, I felt like I owed it to yeah. the kids I grew up with. It's, I understand it's different now, but, yeah, when I grew up, if those rules still exist, I probably still would have went to Mary Mason. They have a chance, a better chance at going to college, uh, getting a free ride, which is very important. Um, for families like mine that probably wouldn't be able to afford three kids. Mm -hmm. We're lucky enough to be at already a good school. I'm sure it's a question mark that a lot of people have, you know, what's gonna happen regardless of how successful we are as a program. Like, are, we, are they gonna have a home field? Are we gonna have somewhere to play, so. But I'm sure that if we continue to win games and we're a successful program, you know, if, if we're top 25 on a consistent basis, winning conference championships, that, you know, the city and the school will find a way to get us a stadium. Just met a, a guy that just uh, committed here from St. Augustine. Uh, oh, justice. justice, justice, yeah. He was a pretty cool kid, and he, okay. he looks very promising. So I'm very excited that he's going to be here. A lot of local recruits that are highly recruited, they can they're starting to realize that San Diego State is a very legit uh, powerhouse for football, and they're taking notice and they're committing here. So it's very exciting to see that.